Hi everyone. Greetings, my friends. It's the Jim and Dave. Beer, Beer review. review. Two thumbs up for me, one from Dave. Dave, what's on tap for this beer review? We have Southern Tier C Ration Ration Cascade Breakfast Beer. Yes, Ration Type Breakfast Cascade Single Varietal Ale. I guess that means they only use one kind of hops, I would assume. Now, Southern Tier, I have these brewing company came out of nowhere for me uh, last year. And all of a sudden, I'm at these tastings, and they got Southern Tier this, Southern Tier that. Really? They had a pumpkin ale. They had a, a double. They had a triple. They had this. They had, I was just like, whoa, 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 where has this been? And where, how did they like come out of nowhere for me? It says it's brewed with a, oh, excuse me, variety of hops and one, oh, brewed with one variety of hops and one type of malt. So in other words, whatever kind of hops this has, Dave, we should pay special attention to the scent. Because as be professional beer reviewers who don't get paid, <laughs> we should learn to Why be able we to... Why get paid? We have to be able to distinguish the scent of different kinds of hops, in my professional opinion. So Dave, what can you tell us about this particular beer? Uh, I can tell you that... Um, Uh-oh. What? I got a sneeze coming. But please, go ahead. I'll... I'll... <laughs> uh, commercial description this box was created in tribute to the men and women who have made the singular decision to join our armed services each of the beers in the sea ration box is made from one type Passion. of malt and one variety of hops these distinctive hops centennial cascade and columbus are grown in american soil the package is America. a homage to the field rations homage. of world war ii homage Homage? Homage. 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 Um, homage? You're drunk. This, this package is homage to the field rations of World War II, which each ready to bottle, to drink bottle at 4.8 ABV. Ready to drink bottle at 4.8 alcohol by volume. I don't like that. It estimates cal the ding, ding, calories ding. are 144. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast. Cascade hops have been a staple of American craft. Your name is now Itchy Nose Day. <laughs> Since 1970s, and have a flowery, spicy, yeah, and butter. Not rag <laughs> I'm not. It's not rag. It's not. It's, it's a blood rag. Oh, um, oh, anyway, it's more charming. It's um, that time of the month. <laughs> sorry, people. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh God! You to... asked, and I gave. I, I didn't ask. I did give. Open this up. Fine. Open this up. Please move oh, along. Yes. Open this up. Yes. Move oh, along, God. people. There's nothing to see here. And what do we have on? What is that next to the uh, glass? It's a hop. That's a hop? No, I know that's a hop. I mean, next to the glass. Uh, a pitchfork? Nope. Okay. Don't Maybe it's a strainer of some kind. Um, ABVs. I'll take a picture of it. Eight point. Whoa. Well, it came off nicely. It says 4.9. Hey, glass, buddy. I don't want to like, pour over top of your iPad. iPad mini. I like my mini. He's talking about his iPad, not his uh, manliness. All right, so what was uh, the IBUs on this? They didn't say. Hmm. I couldn't find it. I will say one thing I like about Southern Tier, I think all of their labels have a certain look to it. Some uh, beer companies, their labels are all over the place. But much like Sierra Nevada, you can tell a Southern Tier by its label. I can't put that a little closer. All right, my friend, let's do a little, first we listen, a little bit of crackling. Ooh, hey, this is an ale, yes? A varietal ale. So it's an ale, but it doesn't say it's, um, I mean, it's not pale ale, right? It's just an ale. Just a single varietal ale. Hmm, let's do a little snip. Did you, did you see my picture? Mm. Right Oh, hey, that's a good one. I like it. Where's that? Yeah, I know. Like, 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 like. I took the picture. I'm well familiar with it. You're not going to have to look bigger. Sorry. Have a sniff, buddy. Have Stop staring sniff. at your foot. Sorry. We're not to that point. Whoa. Smell your nail? <sighs> wow, that's strong. Yeah, citrusy. A little bit? A little bit. It hit, kicks my butt. I was like, whoa, it just cleared up my nostrils. I'm okay now, people. Thank God. Wow, I'm okay now. Yeah, I will say a bit of interest. It does have a hop character. Wow. So let's move right along, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. And to our friends out there. Yes. Proust. 
Mm. Ooh, bit of bitterness. What was the IBUs? Dang, I couldn't find it. That's, I'd say at least 60. I'd say 70. 70. 80. Dave's not big on bitter. No, no, no. Not a fan. Not a fan of bitter. Oh, I like it. I think it's ales go. Um, it doesn't say it's an India pale ale, but it is an ale. I like it. I think this would go good with barbecue and a uh, maybe a black and blue burger. Balances out quite nicely. Oh, we didn't even talk about the color. It's very clear, uh, decent carbonation. It looks like an ale. Looks like an ale. Absolutely. Are you on your game tonight? <laughs> not this one, I'm not. <laughs> uh oh, are you giving it to me? Yep. Ooh. I like it. So, what's your number? Four. Dun, dun, dun! I don't like it. Oh, I think it's fine uh, for an like ale. It. I'm sorry, people, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Maybe a three. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's uh, a... 3.5. 3.5. Yeah. Crash and burn. Man, that's terrible. Well, I think if you like um, very hop-forward bitters, you'll like this as ales go. Uh, I don't know if it's as balanced as they say it is. It definitely no, seems... It kicks your butt when you, when you first put it in your mouth. I may actually say it could be 70, 80 on the uh, IBU scale. Uh, 80. At least an 80. It looks bad. Yeah, it's not super well balanced. Um, as far as ales go, if this is the kind of thing you like, if you like a good bitter, this is definitely for you. Who likes bitter beer? What's wrong with you people? Well, there's all kinds of varieties out there. There's I know. Sweet I'm beers, just like barley wine I had today was very sweet. Um, there are some that are sour. We have yet to do a sour. We're looking forward to it. You are looking forward to sour. I'm not looking forward to sour. I'm going to do it for you people and for myself because I want to try it at least once, but I don't think I'm going to be a fan. Some people swear by them. Yeah, some people and swear. And maybe, again, yeah. it's all about the food pairings because if you're having it with a certain meal, it will balance out, is what I'm told. I can't say I always do that. But, for instance, last night I had a black and blue burger on a pretzel bun. And I had it with a Samuel Adams. I thought it went very well together. Boston Lager, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh, for my number, I will give this a... Yeah, I have a feeling this is Simcoe Hops. It has that Simcoe Hop flavor to me. I'm not a big fan of Simcoe Hops, even though I had a Hop Slam today. And for one that they... Mentioned how much Simcoe hops they use in it. I actually thought That's that was terrible. pretty good. What's terrible? It's terrible. It's terrible beer. Well, I was talking about hops now, but this one. Um, I'm just saying it's terrible. Yeah, it, it's fine. I probably wouldn't buy it, to be honest with you. It's um, it's okay. I'll drink it. If it's offered to me, I'll take it. You know what I would do? I'll give this a 5.5. Uh, 5. I would give this to the dog to drink. <laughs> really? So there you have it. I don't know if I'd give it to the dog even. We have Southern Tears Cascade, which is probably the hops they use. Oh, okay, so it's probably not Simcoe. It's Cascade. Duh. Well, I say Simcoe. I have to that out. Cascade hops. I thought I liked Cascade hops, but this one is uh, very... Would you have this for breakfast? I would not have this again ever in my lifetime. <laughs> All right, well, it reminds me of Simcoe hops. So, But it's obviously just one hops. It is Cascade. Duh. Sorry, I feel very embarrassed. I really got to edit that part out. So there you have it. Jim and Dave's beer review. Terrible. 3.5 from Dave. Not happy at me. all. As a balance, though. Not happy So, at Dave, all. give a disclaimer. I did the last two. Um, please do not drink and drive. If you're in the military and you're under 21, please do not drink. And if you do drink on the base, uh, if you are operating heavy machinery, please do not drive your operate your heavy machinery or use heavy machinery. Yes, like don't drive program. your heavy machinery or operate. Do not, um, if you're pregnant. Do not listen to, if you're pregnant, do not go out and troll for men if you're drunk. Um, well, basically, yeah. the Surgeon General says that pregnant women are at risk for birth defects if they consume alcohol. So please don't do that. Consider the future. Northern of your child. Brewer, looking for Southern Tier IPA recipe. Yucky. Okay. I can't find the IBUs anywhere. See? So, well, I appreciate you trying, buddy. I think it's in a And the reason we do all this is we believe that you should drink great beers with your friends and have a good laugh. And stuff like that there. Ah <laughs> Beach, do it. Yes. Well, you demand. See, I'm the man. Dumb man. Yeah, the dumb man. I'm the dumb man. I'm the dumb man that dumbed it. But I was an IOC. 
Dum 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 dum